Hello, I'm Bayeru Agabi. As we face the new society driven by data and information, Cyber Africa provides you a trusted platform. Here we understand how telecoms, the internet, and the media are redefining our world. Cyber Africa, connected Africa. Hello there, and welcome to Cyber Africa for this week. My name is Friday Otuya. I'm standing in for Bayero Agabi, who is your regular host on the show. Now, on today's very special edition of Cyber Africa, we will go out on the streets to see traffic lights, to examine the history of traffic lights, and of course, their impact on our everyday movements today. Very importantly, we shall be looking at how Nigerians appreciate traffic lights and how they understand the different signals from traffic lights. It promises to be a very exciting and very informative edition also. So stick around, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back to end the show. If all traffic rules were cancelled and all traffic lights switched off, many of our roads would be totally chaotic as they would be completely blocked as a result of the disorderly manner of vehicular and pedestrian movement. This is why traffic lights are positioned at road intersections, pedestrian crossings and other locations to control the flow of traffic. They alternate between their different colours to determine when vehicles and pedestrians are to move across the road or stop. Evolving from a manually operated gas-lit traffic signal to a digital electric-powered virtual light, Traffic lights are now an integral part of road transportation in African cities where the population of road users are increasing. It is not exactly clear as to who invented the world's first traffic signal, but in 1868, illuminated traffic signal was installed in London. It was designed to aid traffic policemen during hours of darkness when visibility was poor. The idea for developing traffic signals began in the 1800s and on December 10, 1868, the first gas-lit traffic lights were installed outside the Houses of Parliament in London. It was meant to control the traffic of horse carriages in the area and to allow pedestrians to safely cross the roads. This was indeed the first recorded use of illuminated red and green colors to control traffic. In 1912, a police officer in Utah, United States, named Lester Wire, mounted a handmade wooden box with colored red and green lights on a pole with the wires attached to overhead trolleys and light wires. Most prominently, the inventor Garrett Morgan is credited with inventing the traffic signal based on his T-shaped design, patented in 1923 and later reportedly sold to General Electric. In the 1960s, with the invention of computers, traffic lights started to become computerized and over time computers improved and the traffic lights subsequently improved. People could now monitor traffic and change lights accordingly. Based on a particular software, the traffic of a city could now be predicted and accordingly controlled. The computer also monitors the weather and the operation can be changed depending on the weather. Traffic signals will improve over time. There is no doubt about that and they will continue to provide safer and faster commutes for vehicles. However, it will still all be a waste if we don't follow traffic rules. As you can see from this junction, this traffic lights and of course those traffic lights give direction to the vehicles and of course the pedestrians who are walking across the streets, ensuring that there is orderliness and decency along the road. Traffic lights direct the flow of both vehicular and pedestrian traffic by displaying red, amber or yellow and green. The green light allows traffic to proceed in the direction indicated. The amber or yellow light warns that the green signal is about to change to red, while the red signal prohibits any traffic from proceeding in the direction indicated. But while traffic lights have many positive contributions to movement on the road, some road users do not fully understand their significance. Behind the traffic lights, the, the time frame is quite little short. Especially to those who are going to uh, Kudrat, or a good road, the time frame is very short, so they need to do something about it so that everything can go on easy. Water, 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 water. They, they are not come out now. If they come out, 
Chaque jour, il mort. Congestion, more than this. It's okay like this. And they pass this road always, every day by day. There is no time to pass this road. We traffic go the way. It's a uh, government should do something. And from the look of things, it's like it's the last man for these people that are in this junction that are disturbing. So, government should do something about this. This video posted online shows tricycles going past a red traffic light in Lagos with impunity. Apart from the constant rush to meet up with one engagement or the other, road users also get carried away by their mobile phones with phone calls, social media, games, music and the likes. Some countries are helping people who get carried away with their mobile phones while using the road. This town in Europe developed a set of ground level traffic lights at crossroads. The lights are designed to catch the eye as they change intermittently to match the colors of the traffic signals. They are installed in a way that smartphone addicts will be able to keep their eyes glued to their screen while still being warned that they are not supposed to cross the street. As you can see all around me, the traffic lights control the entire vehicular movement and of course pedestrian movement. Without those traffic lights, the entire scene here will be very, very chaotic. And that is why we'll come to the end of Cyber Africa for this week. Join me again same time next week for another very exciting and important issue as far as Africa is concerned. Until next time, bye for now. Hello, I'm Bayero Agabe. As we face the new society driven by data and information, Cyber Africa provides you a trusted platform. Here we understand how telecoms, the internet, and the media are redefining our world. Cyber Africa, connecting Africa.